We're here at ITU Telecom World 2014 in Doha in the state of Qatar and I'm very pleased to be joined by Professor Makame Mbarawa who is Minister for the Ministry of Communications, Science and Technology for Tanzania. Minister, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. You're welcome and thank you very much for having me here. Now I'd like to start talking about the central theme here at ITU Telecom World 2014 is future in focus. What developments in technology policy or business do you see as key to the near future? As you know, Max, the telecommunication sector, technology in telecommunication sector is changing every day. Today's future started yesterday and tomorrow's future starts today. In order to make sure that, especially Tanzania, is moving with the change of technology, we need to plan very well in future or in advance, especially in policy, infrastructure, and also conducive environment for the investors. Since 2010, the government of the United Republic of Tanzania started to invest heavily in building the national ICT broadband backbone. So far, 7,560 kilometers of the national ICT backbone has been completed and is in operation. The backbone covers all regions of Tanzania mainland and also it has been connected with three submarine cables, EASY, SECOM and TEAMS. It is also has been connected to neighboring landlocked countries network of Malawi, Burundi, Zambia, uh, Rwanda and Uganda. Currently, the government of United Republic of Tanzania through the Ministry of Communication, Science and Technology in pub private public partnership with the private sector is building the infrastructure for metro network and also for the rural area. We are doing this because we want to make sure that our future tomorrow is better in terms of technology, connectivity, uh, quality of services and affordability. I was going to ask you, what are Tanzania's key priorities for the future then? Are they very much encapsulated in that statement? Yeah. Thank you. And, and what is Tanzania, how is Tanzania working to ensure that universal broadband access, which I know is very much uh, on your agenda, and the digital economy um, are, are, are made a reality? And what are the challenges? In order to ensure that we have got uh, universal broadband in a place, we are working very close with the mobile network operators. Currently, there is an operator now working in Tanzania to build the infrastructure in rural areas. The company will build 4,000 villages, 2,000 this year, 2,000 next year, and the remaining balance will be after that. And also, he is going to build 13,000 kilometers of optical fiber. This will make a big difference in our country. And we are doing that because we need a better life for all our people whether Tanzania living in the urban area or whether living in the rural area. We need a better life for both. Now we've got many key players gathered here at the ITU Telecom World. I wanted to find out what's your main message to them? This is a very interesting place. We have got uh, different key players as you mentioned. We have got here government officials, we have got uh, mobile network operators, we have got innovators, we've got entrepreneurs, we've got NGOs, we've got vendors, we've got contract. My strongest message is collaboration, partnership. We need to work together for the better life of our people in this planet. And you've attended a number of these events. This is very much one which is key in the ITU's calendar and I'm sure it's important for you. I wanted to find out why, what is the value, why are you here, what is the value of this event for you? I think this value is very, very important for me because sometimes oh, when I go, I've got a big challenge, especially in spectrum management. But here, after attending some of the events or some of the session, now I've got all answers for my question. From here, I'm going to just go back to implement them. So this is a school. Here, we've got a big school and we've got a big teachers. Thank you very much. And to conclude, I'd just like to ask you what key technological innovation do you think is going to make the most difference in the next five to ten years? I think the uh, 4G technology, mobile phone, 4G, 5G, this is going to bring a big difference, especially 
for rural areas. If we've got a proper spectrum for them, you can reach a lot of people whereby the, for fixed network, you will never do that. So mobile broadband, especially 4G, 5G, as they say, that will be fantastic, especially for rural areas. Mr. Barawa, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Keep going. Right.